Hi, I'm Gabe Gans with Modern Ag with another installment of our 2021 video series. Today we will be going over the Precision IQ user interface of the Trimble displays with the 350, the GFX 750, and the TMX 2050. Each one of these displays all run the same Precision IQ user interface, making it easy to have multiple displays on your farm and ease of use of everyone running the same user interface. So to start out, as we pan over here to the TV screen to get a little bit bigger view, this is the main screen of the Precision IQ. So Trimble has done a good job of simplifying this for everyone and going off of colors with red, green, and yellow based on whether it's ready for you to open the field or not. So as you can see here, everything is green on all your tiles and your running man up there is green. So that means that we can open the field and we're good to go. So as we go through this screen, we have our GNSS choice here. So you can touch this and choose from your different availabilities of correction sources. From there, we have our vehicle profile. In the vehicle profile, you can have a list of vehicles across all your displays or just the one display that you can choose from. So you can go in here and choose your vehicle profile or set it up, hit it back. Also same with implement, you can have a list of implements. So all of your implements on the farm, you can get them all set up in here to where it's really easy to just touch them and go. From there, you can go to your field screen to choose your field. Uh, once your field is, once this field screen is open, you have a list of all your fields here. If you have the display hooked to the internet, you will have Google background imagery, much like this. And then you will also have little points um, for each one of your fields as you build. The nice thing about the Precision IQ user interface is that it brings all of your fields up to the top based on the close, how close they are to you. So the closest field to you will go towards the top and help you automatically sort through those. Once you're done with that, you can also log a material if you're doing application control and also set up a task. From there, you can hit your running man and that is going to then open up our run screen. Now in the run screen, we have a lot of new uses that have been modernized, primarily with the zoom of the map. It is pinched to zoom just like a phone or a tablet. You have a nice three-dimensional vehicle that changes color based on brands and also shapes based on machine type as well as several background colors for the ground that you're working based on um, how you can differentiate the color of your of your coverage mapping so on our run screen we have our satellite status we have our our cross track air our speed our logging and then we also have lots of field information here along the bottom as well as far as your acres uh, to start out first on our line creation tool we'll hit the line creation button up in the top right corner so in this line creation tool we have our a b line our a plus heading our curve line our headland pattern and also our pivot pattern to make a simple a b line just touch your a b mark out your a point drive forward your at least 30 feet or the other end of the field hit your B point and then a green check mark and then we have our line uh, drawn on the screen to minimize your line creation tool just hit that button again and once you're going we have our line created so from there you have the line switching tool so with this tool you can hold down on it and choose which lines you want to load or boundaries. You can also just tap it and switch between other lines in the field. You also have the mapping tool, which allows you to map landmarks and exclusion areas, as well as the shift and a guidance adjustment tool where you can nudge your line or shift it to your correction and also correct for any sort of implement draft as you're running through the field. As this tractor goes through the field you can it'll also be mapping coverage based on whether or not you have it set to engage on your guidance or 
or controlling an implement for application control to map your coverage. As your coverage maps, you have your live acres there at the bottom, as well as other information here on your field totals if you were to have a boundary in the field. On the left side of the field, we have, or left side of the screen, we have our management of field names and also diagnostics. To go into your field setup, this will give you a field overview with a map of your field and boundaries and acres and also your guidance patterns. So in here you can look at your guidance patterns and rename and shift your guidance lines as well as delete. Same way with your boundaries and landmarks across the top there. You can also look at your task history. So all your previous tasks throughout the years, you can look at those that history as well and get information on that. Our next button down here would be our diagnostics. So in here, we can come in here to see if things are connected, see serial numbers. We can also uh, check on uh, you know, our satellite information as well as if we've got a steering motor, um, application control, uh, diagnostics as well. And then we also have our UT tab here. So the UT tab is built in here to have an ISOBUS connection with an ISOBUS implement. If you don't have an ISOBUS implement, it'll just, it will just be blank like this and um, won't be used. If you do have an ISOBUS implement connected, you will have a quadrant run screen. So this screen will be up in this top left quadrant with your ISOBUS implement in the top right quadrant and then your application info and control on the lower half. Each one of those screens uh, can be minimized or zoomed based on how you're wanting to use it and that that portion we will go over in another video on the Precision IQ ISO interface but it's very very um, easy to display and interface to use um, and we're really excited about uh, running this in the future uh, very simple to close your field you just hit your red stop sign and keeps everything right back to the front forefront here um, and it's a very very nice display and we're excited to uh, get more of these out to you all Thanks.